2016, GOP hopeful Jeb Bush is looking to capitalize on his popularity with Spanish-speaking voters, but some question his tactics. Good afternoon, I'm Miranda Khan, and we'll say good morning there. And this story, Tom Shore Newsmax now update. Gracias, Ricardo. That's Jeb Bush back in November on the campaign trail with Florida Governor Rick Scott. But now the New York Times says Jeb marked himself as a Hispanic on a 2009 voter registration. Bush speaks fluent Spanish and his wife was born in Mexico. But the potential 2016 candidate took to Twitter today and said, my mistake, don't think I fooled anyone. And don't be fooled by Iran. That's the message opponents hope will end talks with that country. Despite heavy opposition, Today, the president the remains States vigilant States nonetheless in his support of a deal. In an interview with the New York Times, Obama addressed Israel's security fears over the agreement. If Israel were to be attacked by uh, any state, uh, that we would stand, stand by them. President Obama calls the recent framework agreement the best bet by, by far to make sure Iran doesn't get nuclear weapons. The University of Virginia chapter of Phi Kappa Psi is getting back at the Rolling Stone and says it plans to sue the magazine. This after the publication retracted an article about an alleged rape at the frat house. Columbia University School of Journalism says the magazine failed to follow journalistic safeguards. Rolling Stone's managing editor and the story's reporter have both apologized. Former NFL star Darren Sharper appeared in a New Orleans courtroom today. Sharper has already admitted to drugging and sexually assaulting women in California, Nevada, and Arizona. And now he'll be arraigned in Louisiana, where he helped lead the Saints to a Super Bowl win back in 2010. The 39-year-old will serve his sentences con concur concurrently rather, in a federal prison. Easy for me to say. In New York, people are leaving hats scarves and cash donations at a statue of homeless Jesus. You can see it right here. There it is just outside an Episcopal church in Buffalo. It's just uh, amazing what's all been collected. The church is taking whatever people leave behind and donating those items to an organization that helps the homeless. And now a majority of voters in three swing states say they support the use of marijuana. Take a look. According to the latest Quinnipiac poll, people heading to the voting booth in Florida, Ohio, and Pennsylvania are giving pot the green light. More than 80% of respondents support the use of medical marijuana, and more than half are okay with recreational use. That was your very latest Newsmax Now update. We'll have more coming your way in 30 minutes.